If they are actually super talented and they are talented. See Black, I made a song with him before. Ogo Logo, you know. Yeah. Hit, hit, that hit the street hard because he's I already know him, he's got lots of land by, you know. But how did you guys meet in the first place? Um we met through that song. He's from Lagos Island. Um, I have a lot of people from Lagos Island, you know, like they've already been telling me about him. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just kind of I was interested in his music, you know, because okay. he's actually got Lamba, you know. Lamba, and so you guys want, hit it off. Yeah, I wanted people to hear him out. So I made a song with him. Okay. Ogo Logo. Um, the song went viral, you know. Then um, I just had to reach out to him again when I was ready to sign talented music. Okay. So I reached out to him and he was on it. So So how about Mobad? Mobad is just another guy. I've, I've basically always seen myself in him. And most songs he dropped is always rapping something to do with Nagamali, you understand? So I like I don't see it. So you're a big Mali fan, is that what it is? Yeah, sure, I'm a Mali. <laughs> I like that. Yes, yeah, true, I'm a Malian. All right, what about the man with the best name? Zinoliski. Zinoliski. Zinoliski, he's talented. He sings and rap like it was just so weird to me. So I'm thinking, whoa, I need the word to hear this guy. Okay. You know, I need them to hear him. He's actually one talented guy. And he's got that face of a model, you know? Like, yeah, I'm no, thinking no, maybe no. When, I, when I start my clothing line, I will make a model for me as well. So I have oh, you got a clothing line coming? Yeah, so I have an artist and a model at the same oh, time. Okay, you know? that's, that's an exclusive now we got here. The clothing line is coming. What about no no females? Mm, they're coming soon. We have this another one of us, Fabian Blue. Okay. But where is Fabian right now, actually? Is NYC or something like that? Yeah. So this is a family right now? Yeah, family. Okay, so what's the plan now? We're in 2020, the year is going strong. Are we going to see music coming out shortly? Oh, we have lots of music. We have, we have the best music, no? Like, Mobad has got a bangers. You know, Liski has got bangers. C Black has got bangers. I'm in the middle of like, yesterday I was talking to Zinoliski actually of what song it needs to drop next. And we're trying to hear every song is going. They're hard. Just, I'm just confused. Like, what would I drop? Oh my God. Like, they're hard. So are you, are you featuring on everyone's track? Are you getting get on different, different? Uh, no, we've had our songs. No, they're, they're dropping singles next. Okay. Yes. Are you not on them? No. The the first single they dropped when there was sign on that when the music, I was on the song. It was a okay. very big song. The song would have been a big song without me on it anyways, yeah? But it was privileged they had me on it. So it was okay. like, and All I've right. got a lot of songs coming out next. So you got your own crew now, like uh, DMW. So it's a Malian music crew. You know, you, you're moving things. But let's talk about you now. I mean, what what are you where you are right now? Because it, it seems like you've, uh, you've you've gone quiet for a bit for a minute. Ah, uh, I can't. I see I see what you do on social media. I see that you're uh, not quiet in there. It's just like do you know what it is. Uh, I can drop like I can drop songs now. Do you understand? I don't really have to drop songs now to still be. You understand? Okay. It's the president. You already know what I'm talking. About. <laughs> Bang is I can't go so, quiet. The president of Nigeria or of Malian music? Which one is it? The president of the president. The president of the world. World okay. boss. For those who don't know how you got started, just give us a little brief history of uh, Nara Mali to where you are now. Um, you want to start with Aziz Fashola? Yes, you can start with that. Uh -huh. Give a brief history about myself. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna introduce myself. I don't really like introduction, but I'm gonna introduce myself anyway. You already know, so boy now I'm Mali, presidential is plenty of people. But basically, how did I get into the music scene, yeah? Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm sure I explained this to you today, yesterday, right? You know, yeah, I just, I just made my first money. Not my first money, my first big money. Was it, what were you doing? Legal, illegal, what were you doing? Making money. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta ask that question now. You gotta ask, you gotta okay. ask. I was making money. Okay. This is in, the, in England, right? In England. Okay. What were you doing making money? How did you make the money? Uh, I was picking up money, man. It was that easy, man. Well, just from the streets? I was breaking it down. I, was this, breaking I lived in London. I didn't see money on the road when I was living there. I was breaking down packs, you know. I was doing my thing, you know. I was making money. Okay. I got to make money. So you got your first money with what you want? My first big money. Okay. How much are we talking about? I'm um, talking like 20 and 50k. Okay, that's you, uh, pounds sterling, yeah, man? Thousand so, pounds, yeah. So you went straight into the, the studio my, and started making music or what? I didn't, plan to, I didn't even mean to go into the studio. I was, my plan was people always freestyling around me and I believed I was so talented. So what I wanted to do is just invest in them. Ah, so not even yourself? Yeah. So eventually went to the studio, 
We had so much time. Um, we made lots of, they made lots of songs, you know? Okay. But there was too much time in our hands, you understand? I made just one song. Um, as a joke. By the time we left the studio, imagine we made like 10 songs. It was my songs. Everybody was singing. The song I made, everyone was singing. So I was just baffled, you know? So you were surprised by that? Yeah, they keep forcing me to send them the song, send me the song, send me the song. I'm thinking, whoa, what's going on? And um, eventually, one day we were chilling. Everyone already know the lyrics around me, you know? One day we were chilling. There was one of our friends with camera. Like, we're like, yo, shoot the video. He said, you can't shoot video with this camera. I'm like, yo, you can, just shoot, don't worry. Okay. We shot the video chilling, unplanned. Dropped it, it was on like four million views in three weeks, you know? And then, basically, that's how I got into music. I can't stop, you know? Okay, fantastic. Now, let's talk about what you were doing in England. You, you, you mentioned some time ago that you used to get into a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble were you getting into? Um, trouble being in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? Okay. Yeah. So what brought you back to Nigeria? Uh, I came to shoot a music video. It's a goal. Mm -hmm. I shot a video and I went back, yeah. Okay. And the second time... That was about, that was about three, four, three years, four years ago? Yeah, I'm not good at time, yeah. Yeah, but that time. Yeah. And the next time I came, I was just coming for like three weeks. Mm -hmm. But that's when that situation happened. Yeah. Now, situation is a, is a very small way of describing it. I mean, you ended up being locked up, so that's not a situation, that's a, that's a big problem. Mm -hmm. Problem, yeah. the situation is minor. So let's talk about that, let's talk about also the car matter as well. You seem to find yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time, or with the wrong people. It's just lifestyle, you know. Anything life, so, anything life for you. What happened with the, with the car? What car? The car that you're supposed to have stolen. Come on. <laughs> I'll buy you and everyone. Did you, did you steal the car or not? Obviously, no. no, come on. Did you steal the car? Yes, I know. Oh, it's silly. You didn't steal it. It's, it's just silly, obviously. It's silly. It's just silly. But obviously, the news. But why do you get? Why you know? I'm, I've never been accused of stealing the car. So why you? No, they didn't accuse me. If you read the story, uh -huh. the headline must say something uh -huh. about theft. But if you actually read the story, so but why? Why didn't, they, didn't they say? Oh, uh, Femi stole the car. Like, no, why, they why didn't you? accuse me. They didn't say Nagamari stole a the car. They said Nagamari entourage or something. Okay. So if you read the story, so somebody in your entourage stole the car or something. Yeah, that's what they say in the okay. story. Okay. Like the car that was falling behind. What about the credit card matter? Uh, um, are you involved in... There um, was numbers. There was numbers on my laptop, you know? Okay. You know how Nigeria go, you know how it is. No, there are no numbers on my laptop. There's numbers in my... You don't have numbers. The only numbers in my laptop are phone numbers and people, you know, but they're not, no, no, no bank numbers. You wouldn't know if it's... But you wouldn't... They, don't, they didn't tell you mine was bank numbers. Okay, what they numbers? They said it's bank numbers, but you don't know what numbers. They're just numbers so on my laptop. So what happened? You brought someone on your laptop, you, you, know, lend, you know, someone borrowed your laptop and said, okay... They found numbers on my laptop. Okay. Is that your defense? No, that's not my defense. That's what they find on my laptop. I hope you have a better defense than that. What do they find on my laptop? Letters? Uh -huh. Is it letters? I don't know. Okay. You just told me credit card. You don't know what I find in my laptop. So what was in your laptop? You just told me credit card. I don't know. So you're telling me something you don't know? Okay, I don't know. Uh, okay. So what was in your laptop? I just told you numbers, Brad. Wait, okay. What numbers? Are they phone numbers? House numbers? Numbers? Just numbers. Like... All right, it seems like Naira is not going to tell us the full story of what's happened. There's no full story right. to tell. There are five numbers on my laptop. I'll tell you the story. Okay, let, let's talk about... You, you have very, very strange tweets uh, on, uh, on social media. Uh, yeah, sometimes they're very sublime and very, very intellectual. The other times they're just sexual. So what is it? I mean, is it that you're like a contradiction or it burns your mood? And you seem to have some fixation with oral sex. Like getting my dick sucked. Well, yes. Lifestyle, man. You kept me. So I mean, I, I'm well. I'm. See my tweets. Yeah, I'm on that. I'm over eighteen. Like I said. Mm -hmm. Like I'm allowed to just like I just say what I want. It's my tweets. Like you know, okay. I say my mind. You know, okay. I want to get my dick sucked. I want to get my dick sucked. I'm over eighteen. Like, <laughs> you know, like you know, I can't get my dick sucked. Mm -hmm. I do get my dick okay. sucked. Do you take yourself seriously? Um, because you've created a whole massive buzz, a room, a massive movement. But when you're in your, you know, you, you, your moments when you're alone, do you say, okay, you know what? And how did I ever get to here? You know, people taking me seriously for real. Do you take yourself seriously? Hmm, I don't understand that question. Do I take myself? Are you seriously? surprised by the success you've had so far? I'm not surprised because I'm sure when I was making music, I wanted to be successful. So 
Okay. I thank God for okay. the sources. So now, but, but do you take the whole, I mean, this whole Malian movement, it's, it's, it's like a, 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 a movement that's caught on. You think it's going to last? Or is it something that you think, okay, let me ride it while it's hot? Malians, we here forever, you already know. <laughs> Malians here forever. Malians knew that this Nigeria is going to be changing to Malian nations. Today. Okay. They already, they already have Mali in Africa, so we have to change something else, man. So, you know, this is Malian, we're here forever. You think it's... All right, what about your private life? Are you, are you guys all single? Bachelors? Yeah? Yeah. None of you are married? Yeah. So what about you, now? How many wives you got? Me. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the wives, then we'll move to the mistresses and concubines and girlfriends and whatnot. Yeah, I have four beautiful kids at the moment. Before I was going to say why four. You have four kids oh. from the same lady? Um, no. Okay. From the same How many baby mamas you got? I have two. Two baby mamas. So two kids from two baby mamas. Okay. So that's it. Nothing else. No. Do you live with them or do they all stay with you or are they in England? They're in England. Okay. All right. Do you have from a, England, you know. So are you in a relationship with, with them properly, or is it that you're, you're living separate lives or what? I'm in a relationship. With them? I'm in a relationship. With who? I'm in a relationship with God damn one to you, I'm like. <laughs> so he's got it. So now, let's talk about music now. So we're, we're looking forward to uh, music coming out from the Mali Music Crew for the, this year. Uh, what else should we expect from you guys? You mentioned the merchandise. That's what we're good at, man. We're good at music, man. Okay. That's one thing we're good at, you know. We have bangers. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. We have bangers, like, like the smiling thing. That in general, you just need to understand. Nobody dies down. You can't die down. Only if you don't have, if you don't what? have good music. Good music will always speak for themselves. That's where I'm coming from. You get? Okay. okay. Right. So what happens if someone said, okay, the kind of music you're making now, it gets tired. It gets too repetitive. What? What? Is Hoss that's going to say that? No yeah, but what, what happens if, if suddenly overnight you're not hot? What do you do then? I will warm myself. I will micro because it's, you're, in, you're in a pop environment mm -hmm. and popular culture moves very quickly. Okay. So you might be hot today, but by, by this time next year, they'll be like, oh, remember Naira Mali? Uh, I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, mm -hmm. I'm here to stay, mate. You're here to stay. Nah, so you, you, you're going to evolve and... and, and come up with bigger things and better things. Obviously, because you get me. Bigger and better things, you know? So, uh, do you have a, you didn't answer the question about the girlfriend. Do you have a girlfriend now? Or is somebody you're seeing? Are you in a relationship with someone? Yeah, he's to me, fam. Hmm? He's haunting me, you know. God damn. So, do you have a girlfriend? Can you ask them about a the girlfriend? <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? No. You're a good looking kid. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Women coming on to you? Yeah. They are, Abby? Yeah. Yeah? And more because of you are hanging out with Naira, Abby? <sighs> Naira like a babe magnet, have you? Yeah, but I've been having girls. girls since. What do you do with them? No, 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 no. It's not that I have them to myself, yeah. Okay. But I've been seeing them, like, they all want to come around me. Okay. Because of you or because of Naira and Mali? Because of him, man. Because of you, okay. <laughs> so just getting it right. What about you, C Black? You look like you've been around a lot of women. Ah, C Black. I don't know, bro. Ah. Black is dead, 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 dead. I don't know if you're dead, dead. Boba, you're not saying anything now. You're keeping quiet now. Yo, I have girls, sure. You have girls? Oh, Even wow. in London. What? Huh? Even in, in London, London, I get girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You got girls everywhere. Even in London, you know what's so. <laughs> Okay, all right. Yeah, so what, what's, your, what's your take on the music scene in Nigeria? Are you feeling it? Are you enjoying it? Who are you, who are you liking? You can, be, you can obviously see what I'm liking in the music industry. Yeah. But you know what is everybody's doing good to be honest, you know. Are you looking at doing some collaboration with people who are not necessarily uh, playing the kind of music you're playing? Stepping out of your comfort zone. Like you. I don't know. Who who, who would you like to work with? Uh, if anybody. Yeah? Is there anybody you, you think, okay, maybe before you blew up, you admired them, so okay, I like this person and maybe one day I could get in the studio with them? Um Yes, obviously. When I was going on, when I was making music. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Like who? Like, um, that say names? Yeah, please say names. Because uh, they might reach out to you and say, okay, you know what? I, wanna work I wanted it. to get in the studio with. Yeah. When I was going up. Mm -hmm. Or even now? Oh, now I'll definitely get in the studio with Kadibi. Okay. That baby. Nigerians? They're not Nigerians. Some Nigerians? Um, 
Yeah, that will happen. And some Nigerians, so yeah, everyone, anyone, like I said. Okay. Anyone, you know, yeah. All right. I'm not forcing. No. The music just got to be good, you know. Music got to be good. How does it work for you? What's your your creative process? What, what do you start with? I mean, do you have a production team that come up with beats for you? Do you write your own stuff? How does it work? Because um, you seem to be seeing whatever comes into your head. Exactly, you got me. When I get when I hear the beat from seeing how I put this, I hear the beat. I just talk. I don't even sing. I just talk, mm -hmm. you know. So you get me. Okay. So. Is there any day you don't smoke weed? Yes. Is that Sunday? Every day. <laughs> now I'm asking, is there any day you don't smoke weed? And I, I said, I don't smoke weed every day. I don't smoke weed. Weed? I don't. I don't. Weed? At all? No. no, I mean, like, I haven't smoked weed today. It's still early. Okay. Do you smoke weed? No. No. <laughs> so what do you smoke then? Loud. Ah, okay. I see. Okay. And what does it do for you? Tell me what it does for you. Um, what does what do for me? Loud? Yeah. What does it do for you? Ah, oh, fuck. It gets me high, obviously. What the hell? Mm -hmm. So when you're high, what, 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 what happens then? Um, I get... What does what happen? I get high. No, I don't know, because I don't get high, so I don't know. When I'm high, mm -hmm. what happens is that I get high. So is it a means to an end? So let's 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 examine that high. What do you do with the high? Do you get in the studio? Do you have sex? What do you do? I get in the studio, I have mm -hmm. sex, I go to interviews. You go to interviews? Yes. I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Malian Music Crew, we're looking forward to it. All right, C Black, anything you want to say to fans out there looking forward to your music? <clears throat> Just uh, stay muted, yeah. Maria Music, watch out. We're coming out strong, you know. Love you, your fans. Nice one. You know this key? Yeah. yeah. What you want to tell the fans, the young females looking for you? <laughs> you you'd be nice to the girls because they're the ones, they're, they're the ones going to stream your music. They're going to download your stuff and stream it. Okay, uh -huh, exactly, yeah. I am. But I have, I have male fans too, yeah. You have male fans too, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk. Yeah, so go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Say what you got to say, my man. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I've got big things coming, like, mad tracks, like, here to stay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Mubad, you? Sure, sure. I had a lot of projects coming through, like, earlier this year, I've dropped a single, and I have singles coming, then I can plan an EP, maybe an EP, yeah. Okay. All right, nice one. So, we're looking forward to it. The Presidente, we're going to leave the last word to the El Presidente of Maya Music. Yeah, you're, you're good? You're happy? The future's bright? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Come forward, rest of you. Jack, I'm going to go to Where's Naramadi gonna be in five years' time? Fucking in the fucking. Oh, farm. Do you not hear the word president? I'm gonna be a president in five years, fam. Okay. Of Nigeria, right? Oh, no. Okay, all right. We'll leave it at that. Uh, if you're gonna vote for Naramadi, let us know. Uh, he'll be campaigning. What party are no, you gonna be? Honestly. Yeah? Honestly, in five years. Mm He's -hmm. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna shock everybody that okay. don't understand. People that think you're just a. A flash okay. in the pan or just I a phase? I don't understand. I haven't even started making music. I just talk on the mic. Okay. I don't understand. When so I there's start, a lot of music to come? I haven't even started making music. All I've been doing is talking, okay. having conversation in the brief. Okay. So when I start actually making music, well, I hear, oh yeah, All right. I want to say thanks to the Malian Music Crew for coming through. Look out for the music as well. Uh, Nara has uh, been very as open as he can be yeah, yeah. without uh, giving too much away. Oh. And uh, We'll be watching your social media tweets to see when you are high and <laughs> when you are having oral sex or when you're in the studio. And um, we'll look forward to that. All right, make sure you tune in next time. Another episode of Truth with Elisa. Uh, shout out to the people that toy for letting us be here. Nice lounge, number one C. Yes, sir, Polo Club Road, right above traffic in Ikoi. Do check it out. My name music. All right, we got to go.